get to that point, there's, I will, okay, Lord, I will. There's three people that God put on my heart to do something with tonight. Two's here, one is not. I think, well, may I say I'm hoping they'll be obedient to the Lord for Sunday. God has a word for them, um, but it's in our hands. The message that I'm fixing to come that the Lord is working also with, where there's a will, there's a way. We got to understand God's will, and we got to have God's will to get in this magnificent move that the world have never seen before. First, I want to thank Debbie and, and Josh for backing, backing me up for these few days. I'm glad to be back in the house of the Lord myself. Uh, like I said, we enjoyed ourselves, me and my wife, 35 years. Whew. I know she said, Whew. Uh, I... I, I, I and we, but <clears throat> the enemies fought my grandchildren over the week, this week, uh, where Kevin's at right now with Trenton under the weather, and my daughter last night heard, heard my son heard me, said, what daddy, what is he doing back there? Well, I was fighting in the spirit. What are you saying? There's a lot going on, folks. I'm hoping this church will grasp it. There's a lot going on in the spirit. But we have the victory. Amen. We have the victory. But you have to practice this. You cannot just be a okay, okay, a spectator. You have to put it into your hearts, into your being, and you're going to experience some things that you never experienced before. Uh, but I, I was praying. He was trying to attack my grandchildren all this week. I'm fed up with that. So, um, anyhow, uh, they heard that. Okay, now, how many of you knew about March the 5th that's coming with Miss Victoria? You remember? Okay, well, you remember what I told you a while back? Get ready. Okay. God threw you in for the third person tonight. Now, the third person may come Sunday and still get something, but you, he threw you in for the third person as being obedient. And what he told me to tell you, I'm going to go ahead and get to you first. What he told me to tell you is that you're fixing to see some things not only in your own personal life, but in your family. You're going to see your sister start coming into the house of the Lord. Okay. There's some things in the spirit in your whole inner family, your mom, your, even your dad. That is God is fixing to do some things with you with that. And right now we're going to do this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Have you ever hollered out to Satan? Now listen, folks, you do not have to holler at Satan to make him move. Hollering don't make Satan scared of you. But what you believe and know who God is, he has a problem with. But have you ever stood up and said, by the authority of me, you have? You have. Just here recently. Okay, praise the Lord. So when you do that, God takes that seed that you have planted out. And now you're fixing to see it come to fruition in this house. Listen to the, listen to the servant of God. You're going to see it because of your obedience. Because God said, I am the author. In the finisher of your faith. I'm the one that. Instilling you to practice it. And then I'm the one that performs it. And then it makes you believe. Do you have that scripture? John 11. Why? 
What are you, I'm going to read the scripture. Uh, because Martha had the, had the same experience. Pay attention real close. You, the ones that God is fixing to get a hold to next, what these scriptures are saying. If you want to see some things, you're fixing to see it. If you'll do what the, and be obedient to the Lord, you got to start paying attention. Quit coming to the house of God doing a religious duty. Quit being a, a just, how can I explain it, Father? Quit, you okay, real. Quit downing yourself to a point of God don't hear me because what position you hold or whatever you may be or may, whatever you may done in the past, quit thinking of the past. Stop it. And you're going to start seeing some things in the future. But look, when, when Martha got word that Jesus was coming, all the prophets, ladies and gentlemen, wake up spiritually. Not by my power nor by my might, but by the spirit of the living God. I command every hindrance, every evil spirit, every thought that contradicts God's word, to be cast out of here in Jesus' name. In the name of the living God. So that those who have ears to hear can hear and see their heavenly father work on their behalf. But he said when Martha got a word that Jesus was coming. She went to meet him. But Mary, but Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, if only you have been here, my brother would not have died. You're recording, right? Your brother will not, my brother wouldn't have died. But even her herself with some of the doubt that she faced, even herself with some of the things that you've been coming in here day in and day out. Understand, folks, Wednesday night is a sacrifice. And God takes count of sacrifices. People say Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, he was. He was, he was, he was. But being obedient to be in his house or meet him in a certain place Let's put it like Robin Bullock says, meet me in the temple at the 11th hour. With, with that in place, you go where you feel the Spirit tells you to go. Why? Nobody got here tonight because they wanted to come to the house of the Lord on their own. No one comes to the Father unless the Spirit draws them. So we even have to have God to even help us to be obedient to come to the Lord. But we have to take that final sacrifice, ourselves, dying to ourselves, and obeying the, obeying the Spirit of God. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, Your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said. Now, this is another nugget for you. I just got this tonight, just, 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 just tonight. When God says, continue that Sunday, I want you to do this tonight. And my wife knows about it. Says, yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises in the last day. We have been taught all types of Religion, all types of thinking of ways that God is waiting for this specific day to do this specific thing or whatever. But as Mary said, I know he will rise again in the resurrection, Father, because we've been studying the resurrection. God taught about it, remember, in the old scrolls and different things like that. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection. In the life, 
Anyone who believes in me will live. Even after dying. Selah, think about this. People think that's death physically, yeah? But it ain't that alone. Even spiritually dying. And even physical dying, but yet raised back again. Wait a minute, hold on. Because everyone who lives in me and believes in me will. Did you hear what? You got to see your God standing in your table. Will never die. Don't care what the physical says. I don't care what how you feel or even how you have been pressed down, pushed down, and can't move no more by the enemy. You will live again. You will never die. And the Holy Spirit says, do you believe this? Martha, do you believe this? Put your name in there. Do you believe it? This is why God wants you to understand what we've been studying about. Who am I to you? Who am I? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who has come into the world from God. Think about that. Do you believe revival is coming? I, I don't know of anybody because I don't have a Facebook. I just get my daughter to post on our face, church Facebook. Did y'all get a chance to watch, Flash, watch Flashpoint? Well, it's on our Facebook. The Lord told me to put it on our Facebook, a clip of it. I wrote a letter and had it put on Facebook, right? Put it on Facebook because God's stirring this boy. People think you go on vacation, you just kick back. Man, I went vacation, I rested, and God just filled me up. I'm telling you, he filled me up. So you need to have an opportunity to look at that and play that because it ain't no excuse, I mean, it ain't no excuse, no coincidence that God is starting to move upon the college campuses. You can read it on Facebook that I post. If you listen to some of our the services way, uh, way back, I told you that God has placed in my heart that he is starting to move with the youth and putting a hunger in the youth. That's why I'm so attracted, so to speak, to the youth, the young people. Because God is fixing to build his church. And this is running 24 hours a day. Oh, my God. Well, that's your problem, not mine. I know what I'm hungry for. I mean, I, I'm going to get, I'm going in this. To, I'm going to get what the devil stole from me, and I'm going to get and keep what God had died and gave me here on this earth. Now, if you just want to tiptoe through the tulips, you help yourselves. But I know what I, I told my wife. Baby, did, didn't I tell you? Say hallelujah. <laughs> what are you saying? I, I, I told her some things, even with my eye, that the Lord has put in my heart about what's fixing to happen. What things is coming down the pipeline even here and with the other people, the, the two people that's here that God is fixing to get a hold to. Why? Miss Victoria, I have, I have just, I don't know if it's just my mind, I pray that it ain't, but I have just flashes of seeing her in the Nick unit with my granddaughter. Nick unit, I'm pronouncing that right, with my granddaughter, because 
But my daughter showed me some of the videos of her ministry a while back. And I felt a connection. And I went into prayer. And I asked the Lord, Lord, now you gave me connection with Brother Robin. You done gave me connection with this one, and Lord. I reached out to this, and I reached out to that. And all I'm going to do is keep obeying to whatever you got planned comes to fruition. So I reached out, of course, like I told you. And I done had church this past week. I'm going to share some of this of what she said um, and to announce it. So when it was getting closer to the fifth, like it is, I told my daughter, I said, give me her phone number. Let me reach out to her to see if she needs anything to get here or have any questions that you need to know or whatever. And I did. And she was sent back, said, hey, Pastor Tim, this specific one here, she said, in the message said, I know you inviting someone that you don't know personally. And I don't want you to know that I don't take this lightly that you have invited me to share the gospel in your church and you don't know me personally. Because God said, know them who labor among you. So she said, it's a privilege and an honor that you was able to ask, you felt led to ask me. And I'm not taking it lightly. And I wrote back. And I had to tell her what the Lord put in my heart. I said, my daughter showed me a few videos of your ministry. And by the spirit, it seemed like I already met you. I said, I prayed and I talked to the Lord and he talked to my spirit to ask you to come. Whew. I believe God is going to use you to start revival in different places. And we're going to be praying and believing God that his anointing will be upon you like you never been anointed before or like you have ever seen before I want you to know I don't know this lady folks except by the spirit I mean laying on hands raising dead I don't know if she believe all that I just know by the spirit this is what I'm trying to tell you I gotta live this and God will teach you things and build your faith he said, I want to let you know you have the freedom to prophesy, lay hands on the sick, cast out devils, devils, and whatever God wants to use you for in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I have never laid eyes on this woman before. She sat back, wow, tear faces. I read this and started weeping. The Lord is so good. Thank you for your yieldness, meaning yielding to the Holy Spirit. I knew what she was talking about. It really is and so encouraged to me to get to meet pastors and leaders all over the world who are, who are willing and are so yielded to the Holy Spirit. I never would I would I never would have thought getting to be there on Emma's birth and taking care of her in the NIC unit in the NICU would have led to this connection. That is a divine connection only the Lord could orchestrate it. I count it as an honor to get to minister with you and your congregation alongside of you and your congregation and be open up to the Holy Spirit to have 
his way. I never shared this with any pastor or minister that I at a church that I was begin to minister to, that I was called to minister to. But some reason, I know what the reason is, but some reasons and I feel to share this. Next week, the Lord told me to fast all week leading up to the fifth. If you pray about it and you or anyone else would like to join into this fast and pray and seek the Lord. I just feel the significance of the times that we are in, and I'm sure you do as well. And with that, I feel the fear of the Lord to really seek his face and hear his heart. Just want to put the invitation out there to join, but absolutely no pressure. See you in a couple of weeks. And I said back, I said, I'm going to announce it to the church. I said, I know. I'm, I'm, I do it all the time. Anyway. I know what I'm doing. But I'm telling this church, and I'll tell the church Sunday, but Wednesday nights, folks, don't get in a comfortable thing says I'm always faithful for Wednesday nights and get in that mode just faithful Wednesday. No, 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 no. God is going to do something that you have never seen before if you're hungry for it. Don't get in this mood where I just come Wednesday nights because I'm used to coming. Don't even get in that mode. Do you want to see your God? But get ready, he's fixing to show off. So if any of y'all want to fast one day, two days, one meal, two meals, or whatever it may be, if you're hungry enough, as you're so hungry to eat a biscuit, to know your God, And then get in this magnificent move that the world have never seen before. You got to show the devil in yourself who you love the most. Yes. Amen. And pray. And if you start doing this and seek the Lord, you won't come in this church not a day after have to be pumped every time to come in this house of the Lord. Amen. God's going to try to teach you something. We can't get in this mode of um, your God is going to walk right by and you're not even going to recognize him. I'm going to touch to him of his garment. I'm going to push the crowd out of the way. I'm going to seek his face. I'm going to pray and I'm going to believe and I'm going to shout, cry, shut up, whatever it may be. I'm going to do Whatever I have to do to get in this magnificent move that the world have never seen before. And I'm not doing it just to be seen. I don't want to make a name for myself or anybody else. But I want my father that I know that is alive and well. Woo! To move across this world, not just the United States. Amen. I told y'all I was going to Israel. I'm fixing to go. Yes. She's been to Ukraine already. During the war. Folks, God is going to use whosoever. Will lay the, whosoever will lose their life shall find it. Yes, and whosoever find their life shall lose it. I mean, uh, who, what is it? Huh? Yeah, right. What are you saying? I'm saying is we have to have the dreams and the will of God. Amen. We got to have God's own heart to be moved and to see the things that God said, I'm going to do. Because I, I told you before, life is going to change 
whether you're going to want it to or not. But God's going to change because he's not going to have the world to mock him. And he is not going to have the world to say he's dead and never show up. We fixing to have a showdown. He's raising the church up to where he says, call your God out. Get your angel dust. Blow it up in the air. Or your witch dust. Toss it. Toss it. We're fixing to have a showdown. But if you, I want to share that with you so that you can do whatever. I know some people is on medicines and different things, but you do what you got to do. And you're going to start seeing some things. Revival could spark off. I'm going to be involved. This is it. Amen. Amen. So let's play that song. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. It's an old song. If y'all want to stand to your feet now, I want y'all to get ready for this because I'm going to get to the, the other people that God told me to get to. Folks, you need to have your spiritual eyes. God, open your spiritual eyes. Lord, I just don't want to be a bunch of tears tonight. I just sense his presence in this place. Um, my heart feels tender towards him. And um, I hope yours will, too, if it's not already. And uh, because he is, he is good enough as we begin to lift our hearts to him and worship. Because God is fixing to bring the harvest in now. But if you're worried about time and you're worried about this rickety old body, this body's going to die whether you lay it down or not. But get hungry for your God. God is going to train you, build you up. Brother Debbie, I'm the brother Debbie. Sister Debbie was no coincidence she used. The, 40 years of this ministry, this church has been going on. 40 years, they wandered around the, the, the mountain till the older generation died out to take the new generation to the promised land. I don't want to die out spiritually. I want to go to the, I, I want to go to the promised lands. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Moses disobeyed, but yet God showed him the promised land, but said, you got to stay here too. And had to hand his, the staff to Joshua. Then Joshua had to get the spies to spy out the promised land. Folks, just because God's moving don't mean you can just sit there and suck on a lollipop and God will just pick you up and float you around like a genie you got to want your God to teach you God's will open the eyes of my heart Lord because you create it in the image the of God of spiritually heart. I want to see you he wants you to get your family back want to see you. he wants you to get your health back he want to get open your sound mind back my man heart, Lord. He wants you to enjoy this life down here. I want to see you. See, yes, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Oh, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Our prayer, God. I want. Open my eyes of my heart, Lord. Oh, open the eyes of my heart. Oh, I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. Oh, we hope. 
our Father. how God has told me to do the service tonight. Now, you got that other one ready? Waymaker. The Waymaker song, this is not a coincidence. This is ordained by God that I found this specific song with this couple, these, this band singing it. Because he's going to bring out some things that we're teaching about. Is that the same video? I want that actual video. Because this is the way the Lord orchestrated it. And the way the Lord orchestrated it, you got to do exactly how God tells you. Some things you can substitute. Some things you... But God said, this is what I want, this specific song, and this person that, that's singing it. Why? Because you're going to get revelation. Because I cannot copycat, folks. And God will stricken me to be a copycat. But yet he teaches me, then he reveals to me the truth that I'm on the right path. And this, this song, you, the way maker, but yet you'll hear the people talking. And God said he's ready for the people to know who he is. 
and what we've been teaching on. God says, who am I? And my God, I love the rain. Why? Because my father is telling me, son, it's going to rain like on the earth like never before. I'm telling you. Y'all just, y'all, I hope y'all break barriers. through this old mold. And when it starts to exalt the name of Jesus, and you know, worship gives us handles. It gives us a way to grab hold of the word of God so that we can find ourselves soaring above Sorry. any circumstance. So when that scripture comes alive in us and we declare who our God is, oh, there yes. is nothing like the worship of God to help us establish again who Christ is in us. In us. That's this song. He is a way maker. Yes. He is my miracle worker. This song is personal. Come on, it's personal for you today. He's a light in the darkness. That is who he is. Your situation may be up and your situation may be down. But the personhood of Christ remains the same. The finished work of Christ to this remains the song. same. So let's sing this because song. Those two that God is who our God, to, God is. Amen. If you want it, Amen. Let's sing you it shall out see with what God is going to get to. today in Jesus' name.
you to know who God really is. Come on, if you know him to be it, would you open up your mouth right here? If you know him to be that, would you open up your but mouth? But I'm tired right of the devil. There I hate the devil. There are people on earth who know who their God is, and they're not ashamed to declare. They're not ashamed to proclaim. They're not ashamed to cry out. Shame. Come on. Come on. Time to do something that you've never done before. going to stay here 40 years. And I'm not going to be the one to die out. There come moments in, in every name. generation, whether you're watching or whether you're in this room right now, where the Lord reintroduces himself to a generation and come on. amplifies his message. Yes. Whether he says to Moses, tell the people that I am, that I am. Yeah. Whether he says, tell them that I am your father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh, God, you got to believe it. It's important for you to know who I am. And whenever there's a generation that may forget who he is, yeah. he allows a message to stir around the world where it's in everybody's mouth at the same time to say, hello, I want to reintroduce who I am. Who I am? I still make way. I keep my promises. I'm telling you, church, the words to it. Listen to me. We are headed to the, we are in the, in the, this move right now. It's left up to me and you to grab it. I 
told my wife the prophecy when Emma was born, before she was born, to remember. I listened to that CD quite often to see how God made a miracle right before your eyes. This church prayed for it. It should build your faith. But don't you, look, don't you be like the Israelites around the mountain for 40 years, 40 years to die out and seen miracles. Do you know people have already in this church have kicked back of really, yeah, it's a miracle, but ain't really knowing what the miracle was in this church right here. What are you saying? I'm saying the same God that's building the Willingham family in your faith will build your faith, but you've got to make up your mind that you're going to do it and serve your father and do what it takes for yourselves. I'm not up here because I only love y'all only. I want to know who my father is. And I'm not planning to leave this world without seeing what God has put in my heart But I got to fight for it because the enemy is always trying to make confusion. Now, look at the little people you have. I ain't looking at the people. I see multitudes standing outside. I see the cripple getting out of wheelchairs. I do. And I'm trying to get this church, by the Spirit of God, to understand it. People will come and people will go. Let them go. That's right. Did you hear me, honey? Yeah. Let, you, let them go. They're going to talk about you whether you pay them a million dollars or give them 50 cents. Come on, come on, come on. Let them talk. But you and God keep moving. And I'm seeing what God is building my, me for. So, as I told you, last Sunday, remember the prophecy, uh, the, the uh, interpretation. God said, he showed me, and I still know who it is. I still know who it is. God, to, uh, that's when you got to be mature in Christ, not to do it and not to say nothing when you ain't supposed to say nothing. But you was obedient. The first interpretation of it, he, he allowed the other person to fight, to wrestle. Trying to teach you obedience. Trying to teach you. Because church, God has a purpose for everybody. Bench warmers ain't going to be too much in this move. You might still have a few out there to sit out there and enjoy it, and then I just can't get a grip. Of, but you want to be an experience with your father on earth and not wait till you get to heaven? Get ready for it. Keep fighting the good fight of faith right here. So I'm going to call the other one up. Danny, let's go. Come on. My wife knows all three of the names. Like I said, one's not here. You, you see what the little surprise that God be for the third or just for the night? You could have stayed at home. You had a choice. Rough day today too, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, Danny, this is what the Lord told me today. Do you know your son could die and go to hell? You know that. And this is my wife testified to it. He said to me that your wife has been shouting to the enemy to turn her loose to your son. But God said, you're the bloodline. you blood as a covenant. Correct me. This is the way God told me to ask you this. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Have you ever stood up by yourself and shouted to the devil's face as Goliath standing out there and uh, tor tormenting the Israelites and said, enough is enough. Amen. You have done it. You have done it. And I mean, believe it. This time right now, this time, because God said I'm going to, the people that I'm talking to is trying to build your faith even more by teaching you of authority of take back what the enemy stowed from you. Yes, God will obey and listen to the woman of the house, but you are the man that he looks at. God created man first, then woman. Take your authority. Take your authority. Tonight, if you believe this, as God asked Martha, do you believe this? Yes. If you believe what I'm fixing to tell you to repeat after me, what you ask for shall be done. Oh, thank you, Lord. Shall be done now. I'm telling you. I'm fighting a good fight of faith with y'all about that. But look, time is running out. Time is running out. No more compromising. No more pet patting. No more saying, God got this under control. No. You have no, repeat this after me. And you shout it. You take authority as, yes, Lord, I will. A picture language. Your son is standing at the threshold of hell right now. And Satan has him to push him, finish pushing him over. If you can see that and be in the natural, and, in the, and see it in the natural, and see it like somebody was fixing to push your loved one into the fire, what would you do? Stand there and say, the Lord rebuke thee, or would you take your authority and run and take control of the situation in Jesus' name? Well, God said, have that attitude. Yes. And tonight, even in front of this witness that's standing right here, when you do this, he will build your faith and your son will walk through them doors. Oh, them doors. Yes. So right now, oh, say this. So not by my power, not by my power. Nor, by my might, nor by my might, but by the Spirit of the living God. But by the Spirit of the living God. I command you, I command you Satan, Satan and every demon, demon of hell, of hell turn, loose turn loose of my son, of my son and God's son, and God's son in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus name. So be it. So watch it. So watch it. Now watch it. Now watch it. Get ready. Danny, listen to me. Even for the people that are standing here, God wants to build the faith as it would with Emma, how I had to prophesy as my daughter was bleeding and never was born. God said she would not die, but she would live. She would live a healthy life. She would be strong. She would do the work of my, of my ministry. This is before the child was ever born. But you got to keep believing it. Don't you look when he comes over. Yes, Lord. When he comes over tomorrow, don't you look like, oh, look at him. He's still acting. This way. No, no, no. And if you, oh, yes, I will. And the Lord says, if you have a word that God put in your mouth, you take him to the side and say, son, I need to talk to you. And you say what God puts in your heart with love. And God is going to already have the the soil ready to receive what you say. What are you saying now all this, Tim, for? I'm telling you, time is running out. Time is running out. We got to do and obey what the Father says. And if we start doing this and quit letting the enemy keep putting doubt, fear, oh, I'll never see him again if I tell him this wrong. You will never see them again. If you stay saved, then they don't. 
you'll never see them again. And But God, what you just did tonight, and what the Lord told me to do, my wife, only one that knew, so she could sit up there and say, yep. He told me the names. He told me who, what God wanted to do. One that's not here, she even know the name of that one. We pray that God will send them Sunday. We'll see. But brother, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, brother Danny, I'm telling you, you, have, you and your family have labored, have been, been good and faithful servants, but take your places and never, never let up from this night forth. And you shall see your son walk through those doors. And you know how what we just said about you, right? About the Lord is going to use you for your whole family and your sister. It's coming. Look, when God is on your side, we don't mean for us to sit back, kick back in our lounge chair and just say, God's on my side. God says, I built you to take your places in authority. If that's so, what God need us for? We'll just go through this life and do nothing. This word is meant for you to put it in your mouth. Believe what he said. Surround yourself with believers that believe what God says. I don't play with no devil. I may lose some hard, good friends because of a devil. That's your problem. I don't like it. I hate him. And I, I, my heart filled God's heart for David. You got to take your place. You got to. Because time is running out. Soak it up, Debbie. That's what God told me. God told me. My wife can testify to it. I could imagine between them and God between them and God that's enough of the shout brother it's enough to shout I'm a, I gotta obey God myself that's what I'm saying and it builds my faith I told my wife I said baby we'll go ahead and share this with you and I said it even will build her faith what I'm shared with her and I, while I was standing right over there and I was saying well there's one I remember I came up to you and told y'all to watch that screen make sure if anybody's trying to get in here and I prayed and I've done already prayed. I was just giving God thanks. It's left up to individuals. And that's why God is fixing to bring us out. When you have a will, there's a way. And that means good or bad. And all of a sudden, someone else showed up. I said, there's two. I looked at my wife. I said, uh, one more. 
Never showed yet. I'm still believing right now. I am. But God told me to do this, and you shall have the miracles. That's what I'm trying to tell you, folks. People, listen. Us just sitting back and letting the devil sift us as weak is over. Because if we don't do what we got to do when God tells us to do, to speak to the mountain, we're going to not see what God promised us. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. How can I explain that, Lord? What are you saying? Meaning church playing is over with. If you want what you want from God and everything that God gave you, life, life more abundantly, that's not just in heaven. It's here on this earth. We got to let God train us. 40, there ain't no coincidence that God allowed you. And keep it up. That's why all I do is write down messages and let God put them together. Just let him put, the, he the one designs. Just keep on keeping on. With no coincidence, God says 40 years. See, I, I listened to y'all when I was on vacation. People said, what is he doing, trying to spy? No, I ain't trying to spy. I let God teach me and help others to be taught. But I'm, because I'm not in it just for myself. I'm in it for every. I want to see everybody win. I'm gonna tell you something. Me, I have not. We just beginning to live, my family. I'm telling y'all. And I've been teaching them how to take authority. I've been teaching them. You got to do it. Oh, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. Never got did said it was easy. But you don't wait until it's too late, man. Revival comes to those who are deeply seeking it. Deeply. Mm. And I'm so happy for you, Danny. Watch it. Watch it. You, listen, I don't, you don't have to be a preacher. You've been coming here a long time. Take the word. Talk to your son like a man. And he'll be open to receive what God put in your heart. Not with a, priest, a man is saying, you low down scout. No. God loves you. And you know I didn't bring you up this way. This kind of, this, I'm just giving you some th in, intel. And God said it's man and woman. Not man and man and female and female. Well, that's my boy. No, 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 no. You better believe that's your boy. And David and, and, and the devil's trying to keep him stolen from you. And time is running short. I pray hard for everybody I pray for. People give me to pray for that little girl that we had on day. I, I fight. All I can do is fight. I fight, I fight, just like it was my own family. I fight the good fight of faith. But I'm, I, as God showed me, says some things, son, my hands are tied like it's your hands are tied. Huh. I can't only do so much. I'll be, I go, will me knock on the door? Leroy, Billy Bob, come here. Come here. I can't do that, though. God's trying to teach this church. No more 40 years around the mountain. It's time to go to promised land. Don't get stuck on people come and go. God is adding to the church daily. I heard someone else new come in, did they? Did they? All right, someone else coming new. They're looking for something. But if you ain't got nothing to give them, I'm gone. 
because I'm looking for it. And I don't want to be around dead folks because God says, let the dead bear the dead and follow me. God's trying to pump this church up. We cannot start building golden calves. Because you, you're seeing miracles, folks. You're seeing miracles. But don't get in that miracle. Well, do you know I see that every day? I see my Trenton. My, my, listen, my son had a miscarriage. Him and his wife. The devil tried to beat him up. How can you have a heartbeat and then in certain menstrual cycle, help me out over there, OBGYN, um, and then die? Beat them up. I don't, I, you know, I, don't, I, I told him, I said, go back to the doctor and tell him to try to listen to the heartbeat one more time. This is their choice. Nothing wrong with that. God didn't get mad at them. They said, I don't want to go through that no more because it hurt, hurt Allie very bad. I understand. No problem. But I'm a man of, of believing. Would he found a heartbeat? I don't know. But I'm not preaching this gospel to waste time. My daddy's building my faith. And I'm trying to get it across the people, especially this church. 40 years. You got to no want people got to want what you want. Well, I'm broken, I'm dying. I am I done told you I'm debt free even though I got debt in the natural I'm dead free. I've been saying this. So I even told my wife this so too, and I'll just let the Lord check me, see if I need to let it out. Because why? Those wealth transfers just begin to start. Because God says, I know that I got to have you when I want you, and I'm going to make a way where there seemeth no way so that you can be involved because I'm going to take whosoever will let me take them to show the world who I am. Who am I? Boy, I can't put this together. Who am I? So, here's the other one. TK, come on up. This is what the Lord told me. Your family had a rough time. Even you yourself can say as a child, it wasn't all roses. But God says your faithfulness, even though you don't understand some things, but you're faithful of wanting to learn from the Father. And the Lord told me to tell you and ask you this. Do you want your family back together again? Is that your heart desire? Because there's nothing impossible for God. Because I believe that also. I believe God is putting your family back together, your mom and your dad. This is why this, when we get to this wheel teaching that God has told me about, this is why people say, well, why God won't answer prayer? All this stuff. Because sometimes man's will don't want God's will. But when God's, when someone has God's will, to pray that is blood connected. That's why God told him, that's not your biological son, right, David, right? See, uh, but that blood, 
God's a covenant God. Blood connected, take your place. Now you are blood connected to your mom and dad. And the Lord told me to tell you this, to repeat this after me. Because she knows your heart desire. And he can fix it no matter what it them two may be saying at this time. He can fix it. That's why he uses our mouth. There ain't no coincidence you've been teaching on tongue. By our tongue, what we say. Not by our power, but not by my might, but by what God said. Devil, you repeat this now. Devil, you have torment my family long enough. Whoo, I feel it too. Get ready, brother. Not by my power, not by my might, but by the Spirit of the living God. Leave my mom and my dad alone in Jesus' name. I speak life into my parents. I speak love into my parents. And I speak spiritual knowledge of God into my parents. In Jesus' name. You shall see your mom and dad come into the house of the Lord. He'll build your faith. Now, he's building your faith. He does it in front of people to build their faith. See, people, people says, oh, I used to, with my eye, I used to say, oh, I don't want, I used to keep my healing away from me because I didn't want nobody. I don't want to be a center attraction. Shy. I told my wife this also tonight. I said, but God is getting me prepared because why? This could be the breakthrough that God's opened the door where people will flood the house of God, have pictures shit, shot up on the wall. Look what your God done. If God want to make me a showpiece, I'm tired. I ain't worried about no shyness. I ain't worried about it, Jack. Robin Bullock said, if anybody's seen his uh, 11th hour this past week, he said, I told him, which I had the video, he said, folks, what you're going into is so supernatural that people that, that it is literally blind, their eyes will be opened. I took that to heart, son. He said, You'll eventually, you'll eventually start seeing limbs start growing out of arms and legs. Do you believe this? As he said to Martha, do you believe your brother will live again? Yes, Lord, in resurrection. I am the resurrection. I am the one that put families back together. Who am I? <laughs> I am the one who raises the dead spiritually, physically. Mm. So don't let the enemy steal it. Danny, don't let the enemy steal it from the night. Hear me? Believe it. Keep speaking it. Yes. Tiffany, you read the word? When the enemy start working on them, Debbie, just like you've been doing, Start where, uh -huh. Read them a scripture. God will give you the scripture to read. Read them scripture. The Father says this, this, this. Don't let them, they, 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 they'll, they'll bluff you a little bit. Well, I ain't getting happy. Why well, I fix and start shouting after a while. Because I've, I've been there. But she kept putting them in. The word says, the word says, the word says. I get my husband back. The word says, I get my family back. The word said, the word said, she keep on, here I am. So 
will take you to heart. Watch it. Watch it. And I'm not just speaking this because I even asked the Lord this. You'll see him coming in in a wheelchair. However God takes it long, I don't know how long it's going to be, but you're going to see her walk out eventually. I just see it. All right? Take it at heart. This is it. Amen. Somebody give God praise. Oh, mama, do you feel it? trying to build you. God's trying to build you. I will build my church where the gates of hell, the gates of hell meaning the demons, the problems cannot, will not prevail against her. You can't lose. That's why fear is not, I'm going to have to teach on David. that builds the children's faith. Amen. Amen. This is it, folks. That's what I'm trying to get, to, why God is trying to get through us. This is it. This is it. But we have to be obedient. We have to get into the mode. My wife could testify again tonight that I told her, I said, honey, I said, sometimes I might sound like I'm crazy. But I said, I got something in me that would rather roll over and die before give up. I can't give up. I just, I mean, I just can't, I just, I just, I mean, I'm going to keep fighting until I can't fight no more. I just can't just, and what I meant by rolling over, the, I just can't give up. I'd rather just keep on until I just warm myself, fall out. Just fall out. I'm going to see what God said he's, he could do. I'm going to see things here on earth that God said I'm going to see. The day he called me out, he said, I want to use your body as a living sacrifice and show the world things that, that they have never seen. And I... That past Sunday, folks, I'm telling you, past Sunday, when God says, he when he touched me and I said, I walked through a spiritual door that makes sense to people. I, I, on my way home from work, I walked through, because why? I meant to another level, from to glory. And that's when God says, I want you to do this. Huh? And then I shared it with my wife to testify that I'm not just making this stuff up. My daughter tried to Dig it out of me. What you say? What's gonna say? I said, you'll see it tonight, and God will build your faith. Amen. I'm so excited. I'm excited. We're just beginning. I'm very excited. I announced it again Sunday about Miss Victoria. Because some people will be here that's not here tonight. But I want y'all to be get ready. Let's get this. Let's get in this, man. Forty years is enough. Running around, yeah. Father, we thank you so much for being here. We thank you so much, God, for those who have ears to hear. We are going to the promised land. You have showed us the promised land, as you did Moses, showed it to him. Now we are crossing the river Jordan. 
We're going to it inside of it. Hallelujah. We're not worried about what the people say. There's giants in the land and all that. We know our God is bigger than any giant. We know that our God is training us how to take down giants, how to speak to mountains, and be thou cast out into the sea. We are getting ready for whoever has ears to hear to be the head and not to tell, the lender and not the bar, the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Woo! Hallelujah! God to be the glory in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen. God bless you.